Hey, what is going on everybody? Mikey Saps here, and welcome to a brand new series. Let's call it Hockey Ultimate Team. In this series, we're just going to be running through some gameplay, showing you guys who I have on the team. And also some pack openings. Maybe we'll do some giveaways if you guys also play, but we'll see. I've been playing Hockey Ultimate Team since NHL 13. I love the game mode. I think it's so cool that you can play with other players around the league on the same team. And as an avid hockey fan, I really love every single player in the league and having the chance to use them and play with them all on the same team, it's awesome. That Christmas Matt Duchesne haunts me every single game somebody scores against me with him. Right here, Austin Matthews with a six snipe. I love this base card, Austin Matthews. I've never had a chance to try one of his special cards. If I ever do get the chance, I think he's going to be absolutely insane. Right here on the short-handed breakaway, Pat Lafontaine slaps it away. We steal it back. Brock Bester turns it over at the blue line. 2-1-0 for him. We control Billy Smith, and we make a sick desperation two-pad save. Some awful defensive zone coverage by me leads Vladimir Tarasenko, making it 3-2 to us still with about 8.40 left. Here comes Gabriel Landeskog down the left wing. He'll cut in to the backhand and bury it. Now this is about 7 seconds real time. The next ensuing faceoff, we win it back with Ryan Johansson. Carlson will stand there, move it over, skating it up. Over to the left wing, Patrick Laine and Gabriel Landeskog scores two goals in seven seconds real time. Hockey Ultimate Team is a, my, one of my favorite game modes probably in the history of video games. Back in NHL 14, it was probably the only game I would play and the only game mode I would play. I literally loved every second of Hockey Ultimate Team. Look at this goal. Whoop! We win this game 6-2, our first game on uh, recording basically. Here this is us picking up Brian Leach, I literally grinded my life away for this Brian Leach. Finally got enough coins to get him and we pick him up. New York Ranger legend here, uh, this is one of his first possessions here, taking it on the breakaway, he is so good, he cannot get knocked off the puck and when he has the puck he's so fast and his hands are sick, almost kind of like a real life Brian Leach. We were dominating this game uh, early on, and then he comes down here, 2-0, on he kind of just slid it through our legs, what are you going to do about that? This guy had a really good team, he was stacked up and down his lineup. Right here, he has another 2-0, on but Billy Smith flings his stick and makes the save. Shane Goss, I believe that's the team of the week, is really good, and also that Mark Stone prime time, I believe I got him as a free card, all the guy does is score. He has such a nice shot. He's not that fast, but if you give it to a guy who has speed, boom, that's what he could do. Here we come again with Brian Leach, one touch deking. He'll lose the puck, but he'll get it over to Brock Besser, and we make this kid rage quit. We win 4-1. And now this game is probably going to be the toughest game I'll ever play in my life. This guy literally had 90 plus everybody and was a really tough opponent to play against. It's always hard when you don't have the best team, but you're a pretty good player versus a really good player with a sick team. It's hard. But uh, right here, Br he'll get the scoring started off with Braden Point. 95 skating, which is insane. An 88 overall Thanksgiving card. He'll come down again and score a similar goal. He scored similar goals just like that all game. Uh, but right now, we're trying to really scratch our way to try to get a goal before the period ends. Drew Dowdy's like, uh, he's just going to skate the puck up, give it to Brock Besser, and he'll find Pat LaFontaine right in the middle of the slot for the one-timer, and we cut the deficit in half, ending the first period, which was huge for me.
Bo Horvat picks the puck up, he'll give it to Mark Stone, and like I said, Mark Stone, filthy as heck. So now we are tied up at two. Here is probably the turning point in the game. I want a two on O, and instead of taking it, I try to give it over to Line A with Elias Pedersen. Bad move by me. I should have just probably taken it with the breakaway with Pedersen because it's going to bite me as he gets an opportunity. We make a big save, but we leave the point, uh, the middle of the slot wide open again, and Braden Point buries it for his second of the game. He takes a 3 2 lead. Right there, I was trying to do a one timer with Victor Hedman, and I missed the puck. He comes down, and a very similar goal once again, as that Christmas Matt Duchesne haunts me once again. Right here, we're now 4-2, and a similar goal, I just leave the middle wide open once again. And Morgan Frost, those cards are sick, they're so overpowered. Uh, right here, we're on a 5-on-3, I'm trying to just, you know, distract him with my goaltender, I come out. Uh, maybe it works, because now I have Mark Stone, and uh, I believe that's Kuznetsov in. Stone snipes it once again, and now we cut the deficit to 5-3 with 15 minutes left in the third. Now about two minutes later, once again, the same exact kind of goal he's been scoring all night. Mike Mandano buries it for 6-3. We give up a penalty shot, but we stand tall here with Billy Smith. Now with about two minutes left, we're clawing our way back for a goal. Get hooked right there, and I'm like, all right, we, if we're gonna get in this game, we gotta score a power play goal. And who do I give it to? Mark Stone. Patrick, 6-4 with under two minutes left. Right here, Kuznetsov, big save, I guess you could say. But Mark Stone gets robbed as Kuznetsov was just standing in the crease. Don't know how they didn't go in. And right there, I'm like, this game's over. But Line A here on a breakaway gets tripped up. And now in the back of my head, I knew he flying poke checked before. So what am I going to do? Wait him out, wait for the move, and snipe. So right now, I'm like, I got to win this face off if I have any chance of winning the game. What do I do? I lose the faceoff, and I guess I didn't play great defensively because he comes down, shoots it wide, throw it towards the net, and Spets is right there. So if you made it this far, I really want to appreciate it. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, like if you enjoyed the video, and comment down below if you want to see more Hockey Ultimate Team. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.